Our bodies are filled with biometric patterns. These physiological and behavioural traits are unique within each of us. Your fingerprints, palm, retina, face, skin and DNA can be imaged and transferred to a mathematical template to establish your identity. The way you walk, talk, smell, write and type on a keyboard can identify and verify you specifically to varying degrees and often without your knowledge. Biometric applications are varied and becoming more commonplace. For example, a nightclub in the UK uses biometric fingerprinting for exclusive entry. Entrance to Disney World are fingerprinted and schools are using fingerprinting to replace library cards. Piggly Wiggly stores in South Carolina have replaced debit card machines with fingerprint readers. Instead of sliding a credit card, you actually run your index finger across a sensor. It reads your fingerprint, compares it with the database, and it gets charged to your account. And police officers can make an arrest on the streets, transmit a photograph to FBI databases, and know within 15 seconds if that person has a criminal record or is on a watch list. Biometrics is seemingly making the world a safer and more convenient place. Or is it? Privacy advocates say not and argue that it's a violation of civil liberties. Jay Stanley is from the American Civil Liberties Union. He spoke to us about biometrics, its applications and some of the privacy issues it's raised. Um, you know, technologies like biometrics really highlight the need for the United States to do what every other industrialized country has done, which is to enact a comprehensive overarching privacy law. Biometrics will evolve into or be allowed to become a means of tracking individuals um, on a mass level across their lives. More and more data about each of our activities is being tracked and recorded. The court's interpretation of the Fourth Amendment has not kept up with all these new technologies. As it's pretty much the Wild West in the United States when it comes to the private sector. 45 days after 9-11, the Patriot Act was passed by a wide margin in Congress. It's increased the ability of law enforcement agencies to search personal records for intelligence gathering purposes. It's been criticised from its inception for weakening protections of the civil liberties that set limits for the government so that it can't abuse its power and interfere with the lives of citizens. George Bush signed the Enhanced US Border Security Act and Visa Entry Reform Act in 2002, allowing the use of biometric technology for the identification of people. Under the US Visit Program, all foreigners have their hands and faces digitally scanned upon entry. All countries whose nationals can enter without a visa, such as Japan and Australia, must begin issuing passports that contain biometric data. American citizens will also be affected, as passports issued after 2006 contain a chip. How will the public react? After all, if you're already being forced to remove your shoes at the airport and submit your laptop for explosives testing, surely you won't object to having your fingers scanned as well. The desire to tighten security in every possible way, particularly in America, also means that funds are being made available to deploy technology that was previously regarded as simply too expensive. Russ Ryan from the National Biometrics Security Project talks about the benefits of biometrics for national and personal security and medical purposes. Uh, actually, even today, you see some biometric applications that are taking place in what they refer to as war zones, okay, of uh, Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, in Iraq, you have a, a concept of uh, biometrically gated communities. All right? The first of these is a village called uh, Gazalea, all right? and where U.S. soldiers at entry points to that village have captured fingerprints and irises of all of the inhabitants of that village. They've created that database. 
There are some individuals, some organizations that ultimately would like to see uh, a national form of identity. And of course, uh, there are others that are uh, vociferously against having any type of national identity. It can be done covertly. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to agree to it. It can be done by surveillance cameras. All right. Often that information is attached to a database of sensitive information, which might be criminal history, medical, financial, or, or background on an individual. The global market for biometrics is expected to be $4.5 billion by 2010. It is a gold mine for private companies. China, a leading producer of biometric technology, is developing cutting-edge biometric and intelligence surveillance technologies. More than 3,000 ATM machines in Beijing are equipped with face scanners, which automatically link the user to a network. Biometrics promises to prevent identity theft and fraud. But is it foolproof? Is biometrics yet another advancement on the accelerating technology highway, leading to safer and more convenient lives? Or is it a violation of privacy and civil rights, leading to an Orwellian end?